eyes a dream that you once told to me. And out in the desert, under a stone, lies a poem that you once wrote to me. And baby, would you marry? Or the bottom of the sea, or maybe on a train to Spain, or some nice place like that. And baby, would you marry me on a mountain top or a traffic stop, or maybe on a boat that floats into the great unknown? It would be a day to remember. Under a fish lies a kiss that you once blew to me, and up in the sky, under a shroud made of clouds, is all you mean to me, and baby. Would you marry? Some nice place like that, and baby, would you marry me on a mountain top or a traffic stop, or maybe on a boat that floats into the great unknown? It would be a day to remember. Baby, would you marry me under an apple tree on the bottom of the sea, or maybe on a train to Spain or some nice place like that? And baby, would you marry me on a mountain top or a traffic stop, or maybe on a boat that floats into the great unknown? Be a day to remember our love. La da 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 la 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 da 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, card Mila Fulcha. I'm very pleased to welcome you all to the wedding of Mike and Michelle. Uh, they are delighted, I know, to have you all here to witness their wedding today at Alderel de la Font, here in the hills of Sitges in Catalonia in Spain. Have a seat. <laughs> Sit down. And, uh, and what a stunning location it is uh, to spend this momentous occasion. In this place we take a moment to, uh, uh, out of our usual routines of daily living, to witness a, a unique moment in the lives of the beautiful bride and the average looking groom. <laughs> so welcome to you both. Today, they join their lives in the union of marriage. To everyone here, I know they are incredibly excited to share this moment with all of you. I have known most of you for a very long time. You watched them grow up, you went to school and college with them, you worked with them, you lived with them, you partied with them, 
some of you have even been fortunate enough to travel with them. And as you were the ones that have supported them uh, and know them so well, it's only fitting that you were the ones to share this once in a lifetime opportunity and moment with them. Whether you've travelled from Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Abu Dhabi, the US, Scotland, uh, they are both, uh, Mike and Michelle would like to thank you all for journeying from all over the world to be here for this special occasion. They are elated and grateful to have their parents here in the front. And they would like to openly thank Sheila and Des and Jenny and Chris for providing every opportunity in their lives and especially the opportunity to meet one another. So I'd like to also acknowledge uh, how thrilled they are to have Miriam Butler here, Mike's 91-year-old grandmother. And so it is that Mike and Michelle are here to be married, surrounded by the people that they love the most in the world. You will notice throughout the ceremony that there's a small pouch of the rings being handed around. It's just going to start being handed around now. Please take a moment to warm them with, with positive thoughts of the future and then keep them moving. I know we're in Spain, but let's not steal them. <laughs> oh, too soon. Yeah. I'm Stu, by the way. I'm Mike's, one of Mike's brothers. And um, what a privilege and honour it is to be asked to uh, help two of my dearest friends make this commitment to each other today. Michelle and Mike, your compatibility is indisputable. You are both upbeat, tolerant, charitable, fun-loving, easy-going people. And uh, taking, taking life one sarcastic joke at a time and paving your way in unison. <laughs> Your companionship is filled with the, the most amazing sense of humour and it's a genuine delight to witness the love that you share for each other. I can think of no two people more deserving of a happy and wonderful life than the two of you. Uh, I'm sure we're going to hear a lot about their journey uh, throughout the night by their nearest and dearest uh, and it's uh, the notion of a journey that I just want to touch on very briefly. As an English teacher and a, a passionate thespian, I think it would be remiss not to quote from one of the greatest writers of our millennium. Bill Shakespeare said, Journeys end in lovers meeting, every wise man's son doth know. And what he was suggesting was that we spend our lives searching for true love. And it's in finding it that our journey or our lives are complete. I not to quabble with the master of love quotes. But uh, I'm sure there are a number of people here that, that, that uh, would agree that in finding their true love, it was definitely not the end of their journey. And when I think of the two of you and how you have both blossomed since coming together, I feel an apt alteration might be to say, journey is beginning in lovers' meeting, every wise man's son does know. Mike, as I witnessed the twilight of adversity dissolve at the end of 2011, I feel your journey only truly began as the dawn of a new day and a new path presented you with wonderful Michelle. And I wish everyone your kind of success. To the both of you, I offer the words, Benari and Boha live. Oh. May the road rise to meet you, or in a more prosaic translation, may you succeed in your journey together. Uh, indeed, it's uh, a, a joy for all of us to bestow our good wishes on Mike and Michelle and uh, anticipate their future happiness. And so now we're going to hear from a few of Mike and Michelle's closest and oldest friends to give us some insights into their lives and wish them well. So I'd like to ask Katie, Emma, Peter and Frank, Janelle and Harry Jack to come to the front please. Hello everyone. Um, hi Michelle, hi Mike. Great to be here. Um, so we all know life has funny ways of putting us in places and situations at the right time for the right reason. For example, us all being here today is one of them. It was this playful way of life that put me face to face with Mike McRae on a Skype call eight whole years ago in late 2011. I don't remember much about the conversation, but safe to say Mike and his big cheery face must have left an impact on me. The second we hung up, I called Michelle to tell her that I had just met the man that she was going to marry. Now, I don't fancy myself a psychic or anything, so you're right to think that I could be doing this with all my friends, so the chances of me having one accurate prediction would have been pretty high, right? No, but the thing is, I wasn't. As a very, very indecisive person, this is one of the few times in my life that I had an ounce of certainty about anything, really. 
Michelle laughed when I broke the news to her, asked a few questions and didn't think much of it because, you know, she was obviously very busy and had loads of other lads after her. <laughs> Time went by and I moved away. I didn't set them up. I didn't give Mike Michelle's phone number or even talk about Michelle anytime Mike was around. Sorry, Michelle, as a good friend, maybe I should have. But the pair found each other in a completely organic way. And by organic, I mean out in the wild, literally. On mud runs, park runs, forest runs, out in the middle of hurricane runs, every single type of run imaginable. It seems the two were destined to be together, and if you've ever been on a long car ride with them, or even sat with them at a dinner table, you'll know nothing proves their compatibility more than their insider jokes, those baby voices they use around each other, and of course, their iconic, one-of-a-kind pet names. Mooey, Pooey, how are you doing? And if you think about it, isn't that what love is all about? The simple things that are foolproof ways of making each other laugh. Congratulations, Michelle and Mike. You've truly found a soulmate in each other, and it's an absolute joy to be here with you to share this incredibly wonderful and special day. Um, I've been lucky enough to call Mike a very close friend for nearly half my life now. Mike, it's been an absolute joy seeing you achieve health goals, jet off on international adventures, pave your career path, and most impressively, when you met the wonderful Michelle. Michelle, I knew from the moment that I, that I saw you do your robot dance on Australia Day in 2014 that <laughs> we were not only extremely talented, but a really good match for Mike and his unique dance moves. Um, I'm really looking forward to the first dance tonight. Um, I really admire the unwavering support you offer one another in your commitment to being the best versions of yourselves. Whether it's running a marathon, travelling the world, or starting a new business, you wholeheartedly believe in each other and make one another really proud. That's a really beautiful thing. All our stories are special, but yours is really one of my favorites. So congratulations on everything you've achieved up till now. And as you begin this next chapter of your lives as husband and wife, I wish you health, love, laughter, and happiness ever after. Uh, firstly, Michelle, what a beautiful bride. What a beautiful bride. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful bride. Mike, that's for sure. <laughs> um, we kept this short and sweet. When one gets older, it gets more and more difficult to make true friends. You both made it very easy. You're charming, funny, and what's more, you care. Your ability to be spontaneous never ceases to amaze. From early morning texts to go for a cycle, to dip into the <laughs> or even a 42k adventure run, there's always something you're ready to take on. Um, never afraid of the new. Don't ever change. We love you dearly, and we look forward to many years. Mike is one of my oldest friends. Um, since meeting him in the early years of high school, which unbelievably was about 20 years ago, we've gone through growing pains, holidays, and coming of age. I wasn't there when he met Michelle in Ireland, but we would Skype from across the sea and drinking cups of tea and wearing very ugly pajamas. He told me about his new friend, Michelle, a woman who he would run up mountains with, literally, and to my horror, found this fun. <laughs> After they inevitably got together, I've come to know Michelle as someone with a sense of adventure, a sense of humour and a warmth <laughs> that can only rival Mike's. I knew I was going to cry, I didn't think it would be so early in my speech. <laughs> She taught me at her hen's party that despite popular belief, not all Irish women can hold their drink. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do it for laughing at me. <laughs> when people who both have a passion for life like Mike and Michelle come together, the results have to be amazing. I'm wishing my two friends a lifetime of joy in their marriage and may they climb many mountains together. Michelle and Mike, Mari and Mikey, Mui and Pui. There's nothing left to understand about love when knowing both of you. You share a sense of adventure that's sent you across the globe. And it's actually super lucky for all of us because we got to, on both sides of the world, we got to know you and get to, know you, uh, get to love you. One thing about our friendship, I have to mention food. Um, there are two instances that I immediately know you that you're both my kind of people. From C 
stealing Mike's cookies when he was at work to late night white Russians. It was definitely been cemented from that point onwards. Um, and it's only really a friendship that only one can hope to find in a lifetime. So. Um, you both also have so much love to give, not to each other, but to us all as well. And I think we can all have a moment that was just made a little brighter by you both being there. I personally couldn't have got through moments without both of you, and I couldn't thank or love you both more as well. So I'm going to wrap up before I start to cry or to shake too much. Um, and we wish you a lifetime adventure, laughter, goofiness, and love forevermore. <laughs> have some music. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have a musical interview for Murray, Michelle's friend from college and fellow OT, and Kira, Michelle's closest friend and se uh, from secondary school. Thank you. I can see what's happening. Well, I just want to get it. And they don't have a clue. Boom. They'll fall in love. And here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. This week, the rest of Twilight. There's magic everywhere. And with all this romantic atmosphere, disasters in the air.
you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, uh, that was a hard act to follow. So I'm sharing some words of wisdom from Michelle and Mike on their special day. Marriage can be a beautiful experience. Two people who are best friends and companions, choosing to spend the rest of their lives together and commit to each other is a special kind of relationship that most of us hope to achieve. There are no boundaries or barriers if two people are destined to be together. And this is very appropriate for both of you, being from the opposite sides of the world. Mike is such a lovely guy, and we are so delighted that you and Michelle found one another. Make laughter the soundtrack of your marriage. Share moments of joy, and even in the hard times, find reasons to laugh. And Mike, we know you have a great appetite. <laughs> of course, Michelle has a better one. <laughs> so keep her well fed. <laughs> Continue to grow with each other, and you also continue to develop your separate strengths. And these will complement you, your relationship. You've lived together for a while now, and you think you know each other well. But believe me, you will continue to learn things about each other for the rest of your life. So most of the time, you'll be happy with what you discover. Most of the time. <laughs> the threads you bi that bind you today will both just bring you stronger together. The difficulties you face will test your love. But generally, in general, no, it will bring you, find you and bring you stronger and closer together. You'll make mistakes. But you talk it through and pick yourself up. Say you're sorry. Talk to each other. Move on. Be each other's best friend and champion for each other. Marriage is a no-blame zone. Don't be afraid to ask for help from family and friends. And look how many you have here today. And I'm sure you have a lot more as well. Embrace, it, embrace each other's shortcomings, don't dwell on them. Use them positively to bathe in the many wonderful qualities you both have. Celebrate the good times and make lasting memories. Photo albums in your mind and on the coffee tables are a great place to reflect on your achievements. Bask in the sunshine of each other and you'll always have a glow. Notice the little things. My shoes knit, can't see them, but I know they're there. <laughs> Great belt, Mike. Lovely shoes, Mike. Lovely tie. <laughs> Interesting socks, but I can't see them. But you know, I know sometimes you wear them, and you look great today. And look what you've done with your hair. And just the I love you. Well, I think Mitch. And just the I love you. Don't forget it. A spare room is a good thing to have in a house. <laughs> <laughs> In our house, there's an occasional snorer, and I'm told it's not always him. <laughs> okay, so that's some of the moral advice. A couple of specific hints to Michelle and Mike without about my son, and I just couldn't be prouder of him. Mike is a very happy, caring, loving man who adores you with every fiber in his body. He lights up. He doesn't just light up, he melts. But there are some tips about him. He used to groan as a little boy when he was eating a meal that he loved. He would groan, he would go. <laughs> <laughs> his brothers know that. We all know that. So I find his favourite foods. You probably know his favourite foods, but occasionally he's not just cooking a meal that he loves. But you can always get him to cook. You know that. And he cooks well, but you know, just cooking the odd meal, and if he's feeling down, he'll just groan at you, and you know that he's happy. <laughs> Stay away from the movie It. <laughs> Don't let him see the remake. He will forever sleep under the bed. <laughs> he had a fear of failure as a, as a young man growing up. So his his idea of failure was not getting 100% in any exam. 
but he got over that. He now knows that 90% is okay. But he, he's very determined and sets very high standards. Anyway, today is just the exception. I mean, 120 is probably the, the score for today. But he knows that he sets high standards. You both set high standards. But it's okay to get 90. Sometimes he sets a path for himself that might initially lead in slightly the wrong direction. Dare say that sometimes he's a little pig headed about that direction. Sometimes he needs to listen though. So like listen to Michelle. She has good she has a good sense. She has a really good intuition. So listen to her. And maybe try on her options. She's got a good head on the shoulders. <laughs> See how they feel. Be prepared to change and compromise. And remember that 90% is still a high distinction. I know, I'm being a bit. What did you say? I was writing a homily. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, you've run with the bulls. Now go run with your wild yogi. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to her, because in the words of Mim, she might not always be right, but she's probably never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she's wise and beautiful. So, go forth, you two beautiful people, on your lovely journey ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, now come to the words that bride and groom want to hear the most today, the words that take them across the threshold uh, from being engaged to being married. Uh, a marriage, as most of you understand, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusions of all others, and it is entered into with the knowledge that it is everlasting. If there is anyone here that knows why these two shouldn't be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Mike? And Mike? I do. And Mike, do you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself to Michelle? And Mike? Michelle and Mike, having heard that it is your intention to be married to each other, I now ask that you declare your marriage. I, Michelle, take you, Mike, to be my husband. I will share my love with yours. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty through all the trials and triumphs of our lives. This commitment is made in love kept in faith, lived in hope, and made new every day of our lives. Hi Mike, take, take you Michelle to be my wife. I will share my life with yours. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty through all the trials and triumphs of our lives. This commitment is made in love, kept in faith, lived in hope, and made new every day of our lives. Do we have those rings? Wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible bond which already unites your two hearts in love. I ask the best man, Graham McCray, to give Michelle's ring to Mike. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. This ring has no end, like my love, which is forever. Michelle, place the ring on Mike's feet.
ring or repeat after me? Uh, with this ring. With this ring? I marry you. I marry you? Wear this ring forever as a sign of my love. Wear this ring forever as a sign of my love. Michael Michelle, as the may the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded by enduring love. I offer these last wishes to you on this special day. May your life together be blessed with prosperity and good health. May you always share honest and open communication with each other. May you cherish the home and family that you create with one another. May your love be a lifelong source of excitement, contentment, affection, respect and devotion to one another. Now, by the power vested in me by the Las Vegas Gaming Commission, <laughs> it is my honour and privilege to declare you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present Mr. and Mrs. McRae.